Do you feel tired all the time? Lazy, sluggish, unmotivated to work out, can't get it up? Are these your problems right here? I'm Omar Isaf, and in this video, we're talking about the most common nutritional deficiencies. Because of the food choices a lot of you guys make, you're not getting adequate vitamins and minerals, and as a result of that, your performance in the gym might be suffering. You're not lifting the weight that you should, you're not strong enough, uh, you're not building muscle optimally, and maybe you're not losing fat fast enough. A recent aggregate study took a look at the most common uh, nutrients that were deficient in and they found the top five I believe were iodine, vitamin D, vitamin E, iron, and zinc. Now you might be wondering how do I measure the intake of these minerals and these vitamins and the truth is that it's quite hard to do but what you can do is make sure that you get a diverse source of fruits and vegetables and this sounds redundant yeah I know man I'm supposed to eat my fruits and vegetables but are you eating your fruits and friggin' vegetables. Because fruit, you should have at least one to two servings a day. And when I say a serving, I mean approximately a cup. Vegetables, honestly, you can almost never have too much. At least three to five servings. Green is always good. And that's why, yeah, whole foods are usually for the win because they're more nutrient dense. It guarantees that you're getting those micronutrients. So pick whatever you like. I don't know, I really don't care. Carrots, ginger, kale, spinach and get down and get chewing boy some people will counter hey why don't I just take a multivitamin well boo hoo son because a multivitamin's function is once again to approximate where you're deficient and what you need it doesn't know it doesn't know what you're eating on a regular basis it's there it's standardized it's static you're variable you're changing not to mention that if you're an athlete and you work out on a semi-regular basis. You're depleting a lot of these minerals. The most common two would be zinc and magnesium for guys. And those are important. Stay rock hard in a funky place. Get your immune function up, son. So those are minerals that you guys might need more of. And in the description, I'm going to include links that are going to take you to places. That are going to list foods that are abundant in these vitamins and minerals that most of you guys are deficient in. So you can pick which foods to eat. So we talked about the five most deficient, the fact that you should eat fruits and vegetables more often, zinc and magnesium are important. The other two that I want to talk about what the study found is that most people are chronically dehydrated. Now this might be because your sodium is high relative to your potassium, you're just not drinking enough water. Who knows, who cares? You need more water, right? At least several liters a day. If I have to explain why water is important, you might as well just not watch this video and go back to grade two. The other and last uh, deficient area I wanna talk about is essential fatty acids. Important for inflammation, they're anti-inflammatory, for joint health, but consider that I think in the study they said 95% of individuals were deficient in essential fatty acids and you start to realize why maybe a lot of those aches and pains, why they're persistent, why people don't feel as optimal as they should, it could be traced back to some of these deficiencies. So for fish oil, for omega-3, most people consume fish oil, you could get also algae oil, right, other sources, but three grams combined of EPA and DHA is a great start. Consider the fact that if you're deficient, and I've used deficient probably 50 times in this video already, in these vitamins and minerals, you know, vitamin D, E, calcium, zinc, magnesium, iron, uh, omega-3s, and not drinking enough water, your performance in the gym is gonna suffer. You're not gonna get your gains or not as many gains as you deserve. So why hamstring yourself and prevent yourself from getting enough micronutrients by, you know, eating bagels, peanut butter, and whey protein as your primary food choices? Yeah, I'm looking at some of you If It Fits Your Macro guys that actually don't understand the concept of If It Fits Your Macros in the first place and you're eating Pop-Tarts all day. There's a reason why your shit's orange and your farts stink. Eat your damn vegetables. That's it. That's the video, that's what I wanted to talk about. Nutritional deficiencies, the impact they have, and what you can do. If you like this video, show your support, and like this video. Thank you for helping the channel out. And if you're not a subscriber yet, you're probably new, so welcome aboard, you should be subscribed. But if you're still not gonna subscribe, I'm just gonna leave you out of this. I'm gonna go on to my subscribers, the Zealous Army, and tell you guys to have yourself an awesome day, and I will see you in the next video. Peace. P.S. Alpha Tanks are back in stock. So get fresh, do it up, pick it up, pick one up, pick two up, or none, it's your choice.